All right, guys, so quick update. One baby still surviving, and we've got three babies right there, four babies right there still surviving, and fifth baby right there. So these guys just keep having more babies. And, you know, a lot of people were saying, be careful with uh, cichlid aggression. And while I do agree that cichlids can be aggressive, there's also a way to raise and train cichlids to not be aggressive. So, um, you can tell, I mean, none of our fish are hurt. None of our fish have any scabs, missing scales, cuts. None of them are sick. None of them are discolored. Um, and our babies are still alive. So we must be doing something right training these animals here on the farm. Um, the key though, that I want to let everybody know to raising a proper cichlid tank without aggress aggression is simply to overpopulate the tank now don't do it too much or they won't have room to grow and be beautiful and thrive but uh overpopulate the tank and they won't become as territorial now you'll notice here i've got all rocks and things like that and a couple small plants now you want to give them a variety but also give them stones to go in so that way when they're breeding um, or laying then they're not going to be aggressive so that's some tips and tricks I wanted to share with you. Cozy's getting really excited. She loves watching Feed the Fish. Um, but now we're going to hang out with Cozy and get Cozy fed, huh? What do you think? <laughs>